There are times when you may want to be able to screw a bolt into wood. Here are three ways you can do that. This is a threaded insert. To use it, first select a drill bit with a diameter that's the same as the unthreaded portion of the insert shaft. Load the bit into either a drill press or handheld drill and bore a hole that's a bit deeper than the length of the insert. Set the insert into the hole and, using an Allen wrench, screw it in until the top of the insert is flush with the surface. A bolt or fastener of the appropriate size can now be screwed into the internal threads. This is a T-nut. It, too, requires a hole the same size as the outside of the T-nut shaft. Since it's important the hole be perpendicular to the surface of the wood, I prefer to bore using a drill press. Now, for the T-nut, the hole goes all the way through. That's because the T-nut goes in from the back side of the wood. Insert the shaft of the T-nut into the hole. Then, using a hammer, drive the prongs into the wood. Flip the workpiece over and thread in the fastener from the top side. Now, if you don't have a threaded insert, or a T-nut, there is a way to create threads in wood with no hardware. Select a drill bit that's at least 50% larger than the bolt for which the threads are being made. Drill the hole deep enough to accommodate the threads in the bolt. This is polyester resin. You can find it in hardware stores and home improvement centers. Remove a heaping tablespoon from the can and place it on a mixing surface. I like to use a piece of ceramic tile. The hardener is then added and mixed thoroughly until the material is a uniform color. Using a putty knife, push the resin into the hole, filling it completely. Using some aerosol silicone, spray the bolt for which the threads are being made. Then insert the bolt into the resin-filled hole. Cut away any excess resin while it's still rubbery. When the resin is fully cured, unscrew the bolt and sand the surface smooth. The silicone prevents the bolt from bonding to the resin, leaving a set of perfectly matched threads. So, if you find yourself needing to put threads in wood, well, now you have three ways to do it.